back in the garden now, we find the chairman of the athletic commission, Bob Christenberry, speaking to attentive Toot Shore. And there's the current heavyweight champion, Jersey Joe Walker, and J. Edgar Hoover, Stuart Symington on his left. Rocky Marciano meets Joe Lewis at the center of the ring for last-minute instructions by referee Ruby Goldstein. And in a moment, round one of a scheduled 10-round bout. Joe Lewis, balding and bulky, eagerly answers the bell. The big question tonight, can the ex-champion come back? He's the slight favorite. Rocky maneuvers Lewis to the ropes and lands a right to the jaw in the opening seconds of round one. Lewis seeking to beat Marciano and thus regain the role of leading contender for the heavyweight crown. Marciano going for his 38th straight win, his 33rd by knockout. Lewis working behind his left jab. Marciano about to loop an overhand right. That's the punch you saw Rocky demonstrate in training, remember? Now you'll throw another, a sweeping overhand right that misses. Marciano's right is his most damaging weapon. Rocky bobbing and weaving a bit. In his later fights, he uses a crouch more pronounced than the one you'll see him use tonight. Marciano, by far the lighter man, is pressuring Lewis. Watch him, and you'll see him pounding to Lewis' body, pounding with his right at short range before the ex-champion ties him up. Again, Marciano bullies Lewis to the ropes, trying to free his right hand. Rocky is devastating when he pins his man against the strands, a fact borne out time and time again in subsequent fights. Lewis, another hard right-hand hitter, has caught many a rival against the ropes himself over the years. He's had 70 professional fights. For the third time in the round, Marciano forces Lewis to the ropes. He fires to the body and gets in a left uppercut. Lewis tries to punch his way free, but at the end of round one, it's a good Marciano round. Manny Seaman whispers last minute instructions to Joe Lewis as he answers the bell for round two and catches a winging left hook from Rocky Marciano. Once more, Lewis finds his back to the ropes. Rocky forced him to the strand three times in the first round. And here he is, still bullying the ex-champion. Marciano likes to pin his man back, then go to work on the head and body. Rocky, about to miss a right, lands a hard left hook to the head. He's pressuring, gunning for a shot at the heavyweight title. Did you see how quickly he recovered after the miss? Marciano bobbing and weaving. He hasn't as yet perfected that attacking crouch for which he later becomes famous. A sweeping right by Marciano misses and strikes the rope with such an impact they quiver for moments afterward. Lewis back to a corner. 
Dolu, as generally recognized as one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all time, finds himself bullied, crowdy, pressured by a smaller, lighter, but harder-hitting Mar Marciano. Rocky won the first round. He's been constantly the aggressor here in round two. Here comes a hard left, right, left by Marciano, working on the body with his man pinned to the ropes. Rocky gets in a solid winging right to the head. You can see that Lewis feels those punches. Rocky's really pouring it on. Lewis, you remember, became champion of the world by knocking out Jim Braddock in 1937. He successfully defended the crown 25 times before he gave it up in 1949. Up till then, he had been defeated only once by Max Schmeling. But when he tried to regain the crown in 1950, he was outpointed by Ezard Charles. And he faded in subsequent fights with Cesar Brion, Emilio Agramonte, and Jimmy Biven. Lewis twice outpointed Brion and expected Marciano to be no tougher. A winging right raises Lewis's jaw. Marciano goes to work on the body at the end of round two. A big round for Rocky. Joe Lewis in dark trunks knows he's behind as he answers the bell for round three. The reflexes of this 37 and a half year old ex-champion seem to be rusted through. And some observers at ringside have even been predicting an early knockout. But now you'll see some of the old bomber coming back. You'll see him using his once famous left jab, the punch he always used to set up his barrages. 17,000 fans in Madison Square Garden are wondering if the ex-champion can stage a comeback. Remember, Lewis is the slight favorite tonight. Win or lose, he collects $94,000, a big hunk of which goes to Uncle Sam for back taxes. Marciano gets $50,000. Rocky pushes Lewis away. He's looking for an opening for that right-hand bomb of his. Lewis, too, has always been a hard right-hand hitter. Lewis pawing with his left. He wants to keep this Marciano away from him. He wants to move in to stalk. Lewis, you remember, was always the master stalker. Now, here he is, being pressured himself. Rocky misses a sweeping right. Now keep watching and you'll see him duck straight into a left hook by Lewis. Once before, Joe hurt his left hand in a fight with Jimmy Biven. It was damaged again here in the third round. But we're going to see the bomber throwing that left jab again and again in the rounds to come. It's the only weapon he still commands completely. For the first time in the round, Joe Lewis finds his back to the rope. But you see him move out of there and circle around to get back to mid-ring. Lewis moving a little better in this round. But again, he's back to the ropes, where Marciano fails to land effectively. Those long lefts by Lewis are meant to keep Marciano away and to set him up for a hard right or a barrage. Apparently, those jabs by Lewis are beginning to bother Marciano. The Brockton strong boy will miss some sweeping blows. First, a right. Now, another right. And the left. Another right. And finally, the punch, now winding up in right field, a roundhouse right. Lewis again on the ropes in the final seconds of round three. A frame will call even. 